Hey guys, it's Jeremy here. I'm gonna be showing you how to create some green reefs in Illustrator CC. So what we can do is, you know, play around with simple tools like the rotate tool, reflect tool, and even the shape tool and make really simple, um, you know, borders or reefs or frames. And you can use it for logos or illustrations or whatever you're working on. So it's really handy. And just using simple elements will create a big impact. So what we're gonna do is I just have my artboard here and I got some simple green colors. And I'm gonna use the ellipse tool to create some simple leaf shapes. So I'm gonna get the circle tool, ellipse tool. The shortcut key is L. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna hold shift and alt to make a proportional circle. So I'm gonna drag that out, let go. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select this and hold alt and shift and just drag it across. And depending on how thick I want it. And what I wanna do is I'm gonna select these two. And you can see that it has this shape here in the middle and that's the shape we want. We can use the Pathfinder tool and intersect to cut these out. So if I go to the Pathfinder and click this button here, it's gonna cut the excess off and just leave us with this shape here. So to open the Pathfinder tool, you go to Window, Pathfinder. And you can see it was the third object option there. So now we've got this simple leaf shape, you know, maybe we wanna edit it. So maybe I wanna get a triangle. So I'll use the star I'll find the center point of this. We always wanna make sure it's symmetrical, so we'll use the center point of an object. And I'm just going to hold shift and then make a triangle shape. And I wanna make this thinner, so I'll just get the side and then press selection tool and just drag that in, holding alt as well to make it both sides squish in. Make it a bit longer, make it thinner. I don't. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna select these two and we're going to cut it out. So what the second one does is pretty much is the cookie cutter. If you have a shape that's on top of another shape and you select both of them and press this, it's gonna cut the space out from the top shape. So that's pretty much what we did here. And you can see here we have this nice leaf and it's perfectly symmetrical. So I'll just leave a copy of it over here because we might wanna edit it. And I'm just gonna hold Alt and Shift and make a copy. So maybe we wanna, you know, make it more interesting. So what I can do is just select this and I'll rotate this like that. And what I can actually do is select this shape and we wanna press O for the reflect tool. And what I'll do to make this symmetrical, I'll select the, you know, this point here, which is the furthest most anchor point. I'm gonna hold Alt, left click once. And you can see what the reflect tool does. We can reflect horizontally or vertically. So we wanna make sure it's on vertical. Make sure the preview is on so you can see that what it's doing there. And what I wanna do is press copy. So once we do that, you can see now we've got these two shapes and it's perfectly symmetrical based on where we planted um, that anchor point or where we clicked. So you can see you've got a nice connected leaf here. Maybe you wanna move it across if you want, but I wanna keep it like this. And what I'll do now is I'll group these together. So, I'll make a copy of it over here. So maybe if you don't want to group it and you want it to make it one whole shape, because it, right at the moment it's two separate shapes, we can just go to the Pathfinder tool and unite it. So I'll select the group and then go to Unite, which is the first button here on the Pathfinder tool. Press that and boom, now it's one shape. So, you know, it makes it a bit more neater and cleaner, as you can see there. And the cool thing about these shapes is you can easily change the colors, you know, play around, add a gradient if you want to. I will leave it on that. So this is kind of looking good. And maybe you want to add a bit of, you know, like a a berry or like a flower. But we'll just add like, you know, maybe just some a little bit of like circles here. Just to make it more intricate and interesting, like there's a pattern going on. And I'll make a copy here. And to make sure that this goes on the other side, we'll use the reflect tool again. So press O, find the center point with the mouse. And then I'm gonna hold optional Alt, left click once, and once again, vertical and copy. So now we know this is directly, you can see how it's directly symmetrical. And that's what we want, we want clean. So I can group these together again and maybe go to the Pathfinder and Unite. So now it's one shape. So if we select it, it's a, it's like a group. 
Cool. So we have our flower. Now what I want to do is I'm just going to copy it over here. And what we're going to do, we're going to use a circle as a reference. So I'm just going to create a circle. And I want to make sure that this is aligned to the circle. So I'll select this and select the circle. Left click the circle and then just press the up the top, go align center. So this, this our leaf just aligned to this circle here. And what I'm going to do is make this a bit smaller. And we can leave it like straight, but it'll probably look better on the side like this. And what we're going to do is, just, we're just going to align it again. Yeah, that's fine. And what we're going to do is select this shape, press R for the rotate tool. You can also see it's on the left there. Find the center of this circle and hold, and then hold option or alt, left click once, and we're going to rotate. So when we do this, you want to make sure that the rotation um, adds up to 360. So you, you want to pick even numbers, you know, like 12 or 20. Um, not all numbers will equal up to 360. So off, off numbers like seven and stuff won't work properly. And yeah, you want to make sure that it's right. So you just go on Google and type in denominations of 360 and you'll find what numbers you can use. So usually 12 works all right. And I, I'm going to press copy. And you can see it copied it and it rotated it. So what it's doing is rotating directly from this center point here. So when we rotate, it's going to keep rotating around. And to duplicate that same action and that same shape, all you do is press Command or Control D. And all that does is duplicate. So you can hold it or keep pressing it. And it'll go all the way around like that. Boom. There you have it. We've got our own cool little reef. And then once again, I can just select this and press G to group it all. So you can see there, I group that, make it smaller. I can change all the colors if I want. Like that, which is pretty handy. We can even go back and, you know, redo it. Or maybe we want just to, you know, go in here and change the colors of this and play around with it. But, you know, you can create so many different options. You can even go in here and, like, add, a, you know, some typography um, and make it really cool. And if you want to do, like, a border, we can, you know, go to find the center again. So you can see this is not in the center, but I'll select this group. And because this group, it's a perfect bounding box. You can see that it's square. I can select these two objects and then click the reef and then press the align tools centering the circle. And then maybe you want to put it on the border. I'll press Shift X to make it like a stroke. And then press Control C, Control F to make a duplicate. And then I'll bring it outside. Like that. So you can make like a little frame thing, which is pretty cool. Man, just type in sheet tool and type some simple typography. And there we have it, you know, simple reefs. There's so many different options you can do. You can play around with so many different other shapes and make other reefs as well. But this is just a basic way of creating your own reef. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Let me know in the comments below what type of tutorials you want to see. Also, click the subscribe button if you want to see some more creative design tutorials every week. And I try and put that, put that out and update you guys. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. And I look forward to creating another tutorial for you.